Today's the day, you guys. Today is the day that I get spammed with larvae moths. You can no no! It's King Brew Pair! Guys, guys, this might be the biggest mail day we've had yet. Wow, we have a ton of mail to open today, so I'm gonna make this really fast. If you guys want the series to continue, the link to the Patreon is down in the description. Donations go to pay for the P.O. Box and for postage. And if you want to send me your fan mail, the P.O. Box is 1391, Owasso, Oklahoma, 74055. And if you want me to sign cards that you send, then send a stamped and addressed envelope in with the cards that you send, and I I will send your signed cards back in the envelope that you sent. All right, though, let's go ahead and get started with this. I don't even know where to start. We have like a, we have two packages and like a million envelopes. I'm gonna try to like, not, I'm gonna not speed through this too much, but I mean, we have a lot to get to, holy crap. All right, so we have the uh, return envelope, good. Except it is not stamped and addressed, really weird. Oh wait, here's the stamp. Okay, so there is a stamp in here, but let's see what we have. We have a guitar pick. I usually play the yellow ones, by the way, the yellow uh, Dunlops, but that's just me. Yu-Gi-Oh God, I have shipped you some beloved cards of mine that I wish you to sign with your godly mark. I also have bestowed upon thee a token and guitar pick so you can continue to shred some metal. 2 OP hashtag ban <laughs> hashtag why was it not, why was it not on the emergency ban list hashtag wrecked insta lose sincerely your mother oh my gosh that is crazy all right let's go ahead and see what this is you guys are nuts you guys are just completely nuts i swear but oh we have some wisdom eyes oh he sent me a token hey hey hey, hey. that's a really cool token hold on See if I can crack this open. Man, that is really cool. So he sent me a uh, Jin Releaser of Rituals token. It's actually really clean looking too. Wow, that's a good looking token. And then um, a Dunlop pick. Thank you very much. That's really, really cool. I love it when you guys make me tokens. It's awesome. So he sent me a DD Flame King Genghis to sign, a, a two uh, Genghis to sign. He sent me a Fairy's Gift to sign a uh, Wisdom Eye Magician. He probably sent me a playset of Wisdom Eye. Yeah, so a playset of Wisdom Eye Magician. So let's go ahead and get these signed for him. All right, man, I have these all signed and I will get them back to you. Thank you so much for the mail. Ooh, that's not good. This one's open already. I didn't even notice that. And this stuff's not very sticky. Oh, I hope, I hope nothing fell out. That would suck, but it feels like there's a card in there. There's no return envelope, but there is a card and a letter. So let's see what this says. Hopefully the return envelope or something didn't fall out because that would suck. Dear Yugi Yuzi Vert, what's that mean? I hope you are treating a dust skull right. This is a follow-up letter from the one I sent a couple months ago. I'm just going to interview this time, interview you this time. If you could uh, bang one Yu-Gi-Oh card, which would it be? Tour guide from the Yoda world, she's a freak. <laughs> kill, kill, fuck, marry, uh, Cap G, House of Champs, Asian eyes. Uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> uh, kill Cap G, uh, fuck Asian Eyes, marry House of Champs, because House of Champs is a good friend of mine. John's a really good guy. Did you dick slap your own like button with the condom I sent you? I got beef with the other guy who sent you one. <laughs> yeah, I, I always wear uh, protection when I dick slap like buttons because you do not know where that like button has been. Parentheses, Smitty Worgen Jaegerman Jensen, he was number one. Yes, he, yeah, he was number one. If you could be a one Pokemon, who would you be? Fucking Charizard. Or Haunter or Gengar. I don't know. Basically, my favorite ones from when I was a kid. I liked uh, Hypno, or yeah, Hypno a lot too. How many zombie babies could you kill at once? Uh, probably like four. Do you like sports at all? Yeah, I do. Um, Ke Kevin, fuck Kevin Durant, am I right? <laughs> I, I actually uh, watch uh, football and baseball. Um, I work for a sports network, so these answers will be heading to ESPN. <laughs> What's the best you have placed at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament? Um, like 10th? I can't remember. And that, was, and that was at a regional, not a YCS, keep in mind. But mostly I have like top 32s, like 22nd place, uh, 16th place, 12th place, you know, just all over the place. Like that, that's most of my tops, but I have like six of them. What's your favorite fake Yu-Gi-Oh card? The Julie I sent you is mine. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. I think my favorite fake one though, it's the fake Pegasus character card that someone sent me. I think that's really cool. That's actually going to be my deck master. If you can meet one person dead or alive, whom would it be? Dimebag Daryl. What's your favorite song you could play on guitar? Um, besides my own stuff, because I love playing my own stuff, I actually don't play very many of other people's stuff. Um, I know I'm Broken by Pantera. I know Five Minutes Alone by Pantera. I know uh, Lay to Rest by Lamb of God. Like, you know, uh, different, you know, various metal songs. I know some DSI. Like, I mean, it's just my, what I could play is just random and all over the place. Because mostly 
Honestly, um, you know, when I was in high school and stuff, I thought I was going to play music for a living. Uh, so I invested a lot of time, you know, playing in bands and stuff and, you know, a lot of time making my own music. So most of what I play is practicing, you know, my own, um, you know, metal songs. Would you rather fuck a dolphin or an exhaust pipe? <laughs> I think an exhaust pipe. I don't know. Have you ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Hentai? <laughs> Alexis Rose is bait. No, I haven't. I have a girlfriend, so I don't need to watch porn. I just get the real thing. Thank you for answering these outrageous questions. You're the man. Regards, Jordan. Uh, S. Lord of Julie. <laughs> Dick's, uh, P.S. Dick slapping before it was cool. <laughs> That's awesome, man. But let's see what you got. Enjoy the goodies. Hey, hey, thanks, man. Hashtag uh, metal as fuck. Joey, hashtag... Uh, Julie is metal as fuck, okay. We have a triggered summit, triggered. Oh, hey, look, 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 look. Hey, guys, I think someone sent me some more fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Hey, and a Pokemon card. That's freaking cool. Hey, a Vulpix. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I have a Ninetales somewhere. That's awesome. And then someone sent me a Metro card. <laughs> New York Yankee, New York Mets. Yeah, New York Mets. Yeah, I watch baseball. I don't watch the Mets much. I'm, uh, Mets much. I'm more of a Texas Rangers uh, kind of guy. But uh, Yankees, yeah, there's a Yankees card. Uh, do not, we don't, what is this, a Metro card? We have a Disciple of Malice, what is this? Magic the Gathering, okay, Magic the Gathering. A Butterfly Mantis, hey! Someone sent me a fake Great Moth, that's awesome. This adds to my fake Yu-Gi-Oh card collection that I showed you guys. This is really cool, thank you very much. And then a Triggered Summon, that's, that's so cool. Thank you so much for the goodies. All right, so let's go ahead and tear this open. This one's taped shut, which is actually smart because that last one was open and stuff could have fallen out and that would have really sucked. Especially, you know, I mean, that was like a gift thing, so it didn't suck that bad, you know, for him. But, um, you know, if stuff would have fallen out, um, you know, you guys, like, you know, wanted cards signed or something, and those cards that you wanted signed fell out, that would be just horrible. So, yeah, if you can, like, tape these shut, that's just a smart idea. So there is the, uh, okay, so don't read on camera. Okay, so I won't read that one on camera. And then we have some cards, and then uh, this one says, I think, read on camera. Okay, so... Okay, so we'll read that one on camera. No return envelope, okay. Interesting, okay, so let's go ahead. We got smiley faces. Hey, we got Joey and Kaiba, I mean, uh, Yugi and Kaiba. I said Joey, oh God, <laughs> blasphemy. But Yugi and Kaiba, dear uh, Mr. No No, our Lord and Savior, Yu Gi Oh! Jesus, I was an old school player back in the day when Yu Gi Oh! had only just been released and every kid had a blue eyes in their deck. Yeah, I know I did. My favorite cards are the Toon cards, my favorite too, which is such a fun deck to play. If you could choose any monster uh, card to become a Toon, which would you choose and why? I would like to see Toon Jinzo or Toon Larvae. Well, Toon Jinzo would be badass, but like, um, like I don't know, um, a Toon, um, toon, toon Harpies would be pretty cool, I think. I think that'd be awesome. I had stopped playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh for over 10 years and came back into, into not that long ago, and a lot has changed. Your videos are the best, and I love the funny shorts, so keep them coming. If it wasn't for you and the other Yugi tubers, I would not understand how to play any of these new cards today. If you remember, if you remember, I messaged you on Facebook 2105 about returning my cards to me back in the UK. Please find my contact information on the other note. Gotcha. Could you sign the cards in the clear sleeves and send them back to me? I know you love Cyber Dragons and Larvae Moth, but what is uh, th if they had a baby together? So it'd be Cyber Larva. Yeah, like someone messaged me, like, uh, left me a comment that's like Cyber Larva, Cyber Dragon plus Larvae Moth is Cyber Larva. Uh, find out with my top card. The, sign the cards in the gold sleeves are ones I had uh, made for you to keep. Uh, good, hope you like them and many thanks from overseas in England where we dick slap the like button while drinking tea. Best wishes, Theo Downey. P.S. Larvae Moth for the win. All right, awesome. So I guess on the other note is, is uh, you know, address and stuff. Um, I don't think his address is on here. No, it's not. So this came from Britain, which is really cool. Like their, their tracking and stuff is like insane looking. But uh, so he made me some gold cards, but let's go ahead and see uh, what he wants me to sign. Let's see what this is. So, oh, Toon Summon Skull. Yep, the Cyber Larvae. <laughs> he added an E, Cyber Larvae. Uh, Toon Summon Skull, though. Wow. That is really, really cool. Dude, that's a Magic Ruler one. That's that's awesome. And he sent me um, Haman of Striking Thunder, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, and Raviel, or Raviel, sorry, Lord of Phantasms. That is pretty cool. The Toon Summon Skull is just awesome. I love seeing that guy. I love Toons. Like, Toon Summon Skull is really badass looking. Um, Toon Mermaid, like, all of them are really badass looking to me. But yeah, all these are signed for you. And let's see what we have next. So, what did he send me? Uh, let's see if I can get this open. All right. And he sent me, hey, 
<laughs> Karibo, no, no. <laughs> That's cool. And then he sent me, Dick slap the like button. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so badass. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Dick slap the like button. Quick play trap. When a monster attacks, if you have zero monsters on the field, five, summon uh, five like button tokens, button type, light level one, zero attack, zero defense, and attack position, you can whip out your dick and slap all the like buttons to increase their attack to 10,000. This effect cannot be negated or unseen. <laughs> you can't look away while, while you're dick slapping. That's awesome. The Karibo no-no during your opponent's main phase. If they summon a Gleek monster, you can play this card from your hand as a quick effect. Overlay Karibo no-no on top of the Link monster that link monsters attack becomes zero and can't open monster zones when a Yukuribo no no is destroyed by battle or a card effect destroy the link monster attached <laughs> that's pretty that's an ins these are insane effects <laughs> like these are actually really good effects this are strong but that's awesome man and like he uh did, did he do the backs i think he did the backs yeah that's really cool that is really really cool they're kind of flimsy and then Yu-Gi-Oh! jesus oh how did i miss that over there <laughs> that is awesome i wasn't even looking at that that's really cool a divine, it's a divine type. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Jesus XE's effect two level four uh, monsters or two larvae bots. <laughs> Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, banish all cards your opponent controls, look at their hand, pick one card, and add it to your hand. This effect cannot be negated. That is so awesome. I think this is going to be the thumbnail for the video. Let me hold this up up there this is gonna be the thumbnail for the video dude these are like the coolest things in the whole world like oh my gosh i love these i love these so much thank you so much for your mail all right i think everything i think everything's down on one side on this one so i think i can just rip it open yeah i can just rip it open cool so let's see what we have here we have a letter and then we have some cards and then here there is the return envelope sweet oh and then like another letter hi hope you have a great rest of your day for the poem you can edit in the cards if you want. Great format with goat format was fun. <laughs> what is this? Let's see. Let maybe the, the the note will explain it. Oh, we have a two page note. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do today, guys. Hello, Yugi No No. It's Raven Holmes, aka Killer B. I do believe your content has gotten better, and hope it gets better, even better from here. I have a, vi a few video ideas that I think others will enjoy. First, fishing does it MLG. Second, a video about speed duels, and could you come up with a ban list for people to play? And could you post videos of you playing like that? Third, Yugi No No does the does he MLG? I <laughs> actually did the does do I MLG in a in a mail opening one time. But um, we have a tournament going on with the with a um, you know format that Sam and I uh, made up. That's pretty good. So we I've already done that second one. Anyway, do you think Cyber Angels and ABC will be good at the start of Link format? I don't see why not. Also, I made a goat format deck. I call it Ectoplasma Goats and Sir Goat Token. The whole point of, of the deck is to force the other player to get rid of their high attack monsters and I attack and burn them for game. So when not, if I get link monsters, I'll send them to you to sign. Oh yes, and please sign the cards enclosed on the letter. Shout out to all you high school and college graduates. Make sure you stay on course. P.S. Remember to dick slap that like button and subscribe. Insert fidget spinner. Yu-Gi-Oh! Poetry. Oh God. I have spent years on the battlefield. I have seen many things that are beyond this world. I have dyed my hands in the blood of legendary dragons and innocent Ojama. I have allied myself with the Egyptian gods and fought the gods of the Asir. I have seen many souls sent to the graveyard and revived by Call of the Haunted. I have faced many warriors like those that follow Xi'an and even heroes of the city. I have traveled the two furthest reaches of space and started and stared in the eyes of the Titanic galaxy. I have survived the evils of the burning abyss and swam in the lake in the fire lake. I almost said like fire. I have taken the light of the light sworn in the dark of the umbral horror and established the power of chaos. I have gone to the deepest of seas and have faced the army of Atlantean. I have solved I have solved two mind games of the side frame. I am the black luster soldier. <laughs> All right, that's crazy. All right, let's see what you want me to sign. It looks like some card fight vanguard cards though. I don't I don't know. Okay, so I need to crack on. Hold on, we got we got some tape over here. All right, our handy dandy letter opener coming coming in clutch coming in clutch. So good. All right, so oh, get off my hand tape. So we have some card five Vanguard cards. I I, I have never played. Wait, not not card five Vanguard. Oh, sorry. 
Wee Schwartz. Oh, I thought that, they, that was Vanguard for a second, just looking at the back. This is Wee Schwartz. Uh, I suck. But, <laughs> but anyways, I only play Yu-Gi-Oh, so forgive me. Like, anything else is just literally foreign to me. But then we have uh, Elder Entity Norden, rest in peace. El Shadal Construct, rest in peace. That grass looks greener, rest in peace. Supreme King Z-Arc, wow, that's cool. Supreme King Gate Zero and Supreme King Gate Infinity. So let's go ahead and sign these real quick. All right, I got all these signs. Thank you so much for the poem and the mail, man. I really appreciate it. Ooh, man, we still have a long ways to go, you guys. Let me tell you, let me tell you. All right, so we have a... Uh, letter and then we have some cards and once again no return address wow interesting so let's go ahead and see what this is about dear yugi no no my name is devin and hopefully i am your first fan writing all the way to you from wisconsin i think i might have one from wisconsin i don't know i, I don't really check the addresses that much except for when i send them back i've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh since plant synchro format thanks to you and your videos i have more of a fun time playing rogue decks even though i play uh, chain burn most of the time oh god please don't hate me no i hate you <laughs> i'm just kidding my uh, very first video of you ever i saw ever was shuffling in Yu-Gi-Oh. the trick in the video that your character eugene does where he slides his uh, deck across the playmat and then flips it over i did that trick at locals a few days later and they thought it was the coolest thing they've ever seen <laughs> it's a, it's a poker shuffling trick I, I used to play poker a lot but i learned a very important lesson from doing that trick do not do the trick before a match starts unless you feel like losing that day the card in the top letter is for you to keep before I stop this letter I have a few questions if you were in a mirror match with Billy Bray and you were both playing cyber dragons who do you think would win I think I might best Billy in that matchup I'm sorry man I've been I know all the ins and outs of that deck um, you know and I'm playing the chimera tech he'd probably be doing something really really crazy uh, I don't I don't know man I think it'd be close but um, you know that I think that would be a matchup to where it would actually be an even matchup because I know my cyber dragons man I know my cyber dragons and Billy knows his Yu-Gi-Oh all around so I think it'd be a pretty even match. What would you hate to verse more, Nurse Burn or Chain Burn? Ah, Chain Burn. Do you think um, Exodia with the Bamboo Sword Engine would ever top a regional or YCS? It's it's just not consistent enough. I'm sorry. Did you ever like Plant Synchro format? Yeah, it was pretty fun. I like playing plants. Plants are really fun. Uh, do you think Sam, the King of Fluffles, would ever could ever beat pros like Billy Brake or Pat Hoban? Yeah, uh, Sam, like, yeah, Sam definitely has a chance. He's just, I don't know, uh, he's on a whole other level with that deck. Like, just with Fluffles, though. I mean, he's, he's a good player, but, like, with Fluffles, he's just on a whole other plane of existence, kind of like how I am with Cyber Dragons. Do you prefer Metal Screamo or Classic Rock Metal? Um, I'm, I'm a big Death Metal guy. Hope my questions weren't too hard to answer. I hope you keep rocking Cyber Dragons as much as you rock your hair, <laughs> Devin. Thank you so much for the mail. And thank you for the card. Let's see what it is. Hey, a Fortress Dragon. That's really, really cool. Thank you so much. I, like, I'm not going to take it out. But yeah, thank you so much. And next we have the fattest envelope I think I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. This is just like... This, this, this envelope needs to go on a diet. Look, it needs to go on a diet so bad. All right, let's see what we got here. So we have the return envelope, nice. Then we have just so, so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh my gosh, and then money, okay. Maybe he didn't send a stamp or something and this is for postage. No, the return envelope is stamped, so let's, let's see what this is, this is all about. Oh my gosh, though. <laughs> Maybe it's for the extra stamps I'm gonna have to put on <laughs> on this thing so that it gets back to them. <laughs> All right, so dear Yugi No No, aka Yugi Jesus, Yugi Yes Yes, aka Yugi Baby Baby, or your proper name, Yugi Oh Jesus, I made sure to type this because my handwriting is 100% booty. Mine is too, man. You would think since my handwriting is so bad, I could read other people's bad handwriting really well, but that's not true at all. I've been a Yugi uh, Ohan. Shout out to your girlfriend for that joke. <laughs> oh my God, for a long time. Uh, love the show and the game. I had a period where I quit, but I returned with a vengeance. I discovered your videos and they were hilarious, and b but very, very informative at the same time. Thank you. Thank you so much for the energy and creativity you have brought to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Your deck ideas have helped me a lot, especially Cyber Dragons, Monarchs, and Zoo Beatdown for GOAT. Cyber Dragons is quickly becoming one of my favorite decks next to my other favorites, Blue Eyes and Gladiator Beasts. I actually have had a really cool interaction on Twitch with you one time. Yeah, like, uh, I, I need, I actually 
actually have my microphone, my new microphone coming in, so I might start doing Twitch again. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to start doing Twitch again, because I did order a new microphone, because my webcam mic is booty, uh, but the webcam uh, video quality is not too bad. It's 1080, it's not too bad, but yeah, the, the audio quality on it's garbage, so I finally ordered a new mic, so anyways. Uh, you were making the Gale Dogger deck, and I made a joke about the professor from Futurama saying, I don't want to live on this planet anymore, and you said this guy is the new Yugi Yes Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome, you're the man. It would be an honor if you could sign a few cards for me and a few gifts for a friend who actually has written you previously. The cards to, to sign are in the gold, please, and your gifts are in the white sleeves. I figure being Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, you deserve what would be considered demigods to you. Also, you deserve two nice play sets of the strongest card in the game in his email cousin. Oh god, I don't even you know what that is. A play set of one of my favorite cards. The most gangster black wing ever. Wing ever. Oh, and a nice surprise. Keep up the fantastic dick... Dick slap worthy work, sir. P.S. is so on eBay, so I know the post office struggle. I left a few bucks in one of the sleeves for the extra postage for all the cards I sent. Go, uh, got, <laughs> got your back, homie. Your buddy, Dylan. Thank you very much. Thank you for being so considerate. Thank you so much for the gifts and everything. Yeah, I'll definitely probably like, with all this stuff, I'll probably like, I'll, I'll try to consolidate the top loaders because I, I try to do that for people um, so that it weighs less. And, um, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to consolidate too much at all. <laughs> probably not at all. But, um, anyways, um, yeah, I'll probably, like, quadruple stamp your envelope or something, because that's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of cards to sign. All right, so he wants me to sign the ones in gold, and the ones in white are for me, I think, right? Was that, was that right? Hold on. Yep, the cards to sign are in gold. That's what I thought. Okay. So let's go ahead and, uh, open this up and see what we have to sign. Ooh, Celtic Guardian. Hey, Dark, ooh, guys, this is the... The Phantom Darkness Dark Arm Dragon. It's not first dead, but man, gosh, that is really, really cool. Celtic Guardian, Berserk Gorilla, yes, yes. And then we have a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Started at Kaiba Blue Eyes White Dragon at that. So let's go ahead and get these out to sign. And this is really flimsy. Hey, I think that's a fake card, dude. TP8, oh, maybe it's not. Turn of Pack 8, uh, that's, that's kind of, I'm not going to bend it too much, but that feels really thin and flimsy I don't know I don't know man maybe those cards are just thinner because they made ultis for a while for example that were like super 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 thin but anyways anyways not trying to call your card fake but I that is really flimsy and oh my gosh we have a uh, <laughs> we have some larvae moths and we have some DT cybers nice nice someone sent me a, a DT cyber one time it's pretty cool this is pretty, pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get these signed. All right, so I got all those signed. Let's see, let's see what he sent me. Oh my gosh, he sent me so much stuff. Jesus, okay. Oh, let's see what we have. We have, yep, Lar, yep, Lar, <laughs> Larvae Moths, Karibo, Beaver Warrior. I, I should have known better. Oh my god. <laughs> people, people always send me Larvae Moths. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of trolls. But let's see what we have. Hey, wow, someone sent me Obelisk, uh, Slifer, Raw. And then that, what, what language is that? Uh, Spanish looks like a Spanish, uh, um, uh, what is that? A needleworm? Yeah, that's really cool. And then, okay, so five larvae moths, but, but hey, the god cards, that's kind of cool. And then a needleworm, that's awesome. And then let's see what, we, what else we have. Wow, so much stuff. You, dude, thank you so much. This is, this is fucking, this is crazy. This is like the most, most stuff I've gotten in a while. I think, hey, a play set of dark arm dragons, that's cool. And then we have a black wing, a hurricane, the tornado. He is ripped, dude. Oh my gosh, he is ripped. And then a time wizard. And then we have, like, if you got uh, the, yesterday's skit, I had a time wizard in there. If you guys caught that. But then, oh my gosh, the tokens. <laughs> These tokens are nuts. Yu Gi Oh! Jesus, Eugene, the angriest and trolliest player this side of Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. That is awesome. People have made me some really, really cool cards today. Wow. All right, next one. Man, you guys are awesome. I have, I have the best fans. I really do. I have the best fans in the whole world. I cannot say that enough. Then we have, oh, so we have some cards. Uh, let me try not to mess anything up getting them out of there. And then we have a letter. Let's see if we have a return envelope. No, no return envelope. Once again, guys, you, you just shout, shout. Showering me with stuff unless you send me a stamp and he wants me to use one of my envelopes. I don't know, man. You guys, uh, you guys are great. Like, I can't even say that enough. Dear Yugi No No, thank you for the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. You are a big inspiration in my card game career. I sent you a few cards I, I like and dick slapped that like button. All cards are for you to keep. Sincerely, Hunter. Thank you so much. Wow, Larvae Moth. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Larvae Moth, Larvae Moth. Uh, are these all Larvae Moth? Oh my god, no way. No way. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Someone finally 
really did it. I was waiting. There was, there was, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, someone was, was, uh, the, there was, like, comments. There's been comments on my mail videos, like, so one of these days, someone's gonna spam them with larvae mods, and I'm like, oh, they better not. And then, sure enough, yep, today's the day, you guys. Today is the day that I get spammed with larvae mods. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, larvae moths and one harpy girl. How many larvae moths have I gotten today? I'll have to do a larvae moth counter at the end. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are crazy. But th thanks for all the larvae moths, I guess, man. Alright, next envelope. Maybe we won't get a bunch of larvae moths this time <laughs> this time because that would suck. So we have a letter and a, hey, someone sent me a book of stamps. That's that's cool. Alright. All right, maybe that's that's awesome. Then we have some cards, and then once again, no return envelope. What? If you guys, you guys are killing me today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I can handle all this. And then hey, hey, so someone sent me a deck profile. Hold on, let's see what this is. So Exodia, come on me, senpai, <laughs> obliterate. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> Hey, Yugi fam fam, it's me. I was the dude who drew like 17 cocks on my last fan mail. <laughs> no, it's this guy again. Anyways, fam, there's an, uh, an, another paper in the envelope. That's my deck profile. I would like to know, like you to look at it and, and see if there's anything I need to change. I would like some feedback. So if you can quickly go over it and give me some feedback, I can't. Um, okay, let me tell you what. I'll send you. I'll, I'll type you up something and send it back to you because I have a lot to, a lot of mail to get to today, man. I have a lot. I can't like go over everything live on the video. So I'll just go ahead and type up something and like send it back to you. I want. Uh, I went to locals again and got my second. It got second place, but the reason why is because some fag was playing a kaiju burn deck. You burned me first turn by using magic cylinder on rampage. It was at 8400 because of power bond, right? And limiter removal. Yep. So I was like, I right, fam. Second duel outside decree. Saw the morning. Uh, fuck this bitch. That was when I lost one of my extra chromosomes. I had infinity crystal wing out and I was it was his turn he was smashing ground on crystal wing I negated it with affinity until he uses ghost ogre I negated that with crystal wing he did affect it he did affect Baylor it super gay <laughs> thanks for the amazing videos fam from Dustin PS the old Yugi sleeve cards are for you the white ones are for you to sign okay so okay so the white one Yugi official so wait wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute what's that say the old Yugi sleeve cards are for you fam and the white ones are for you to sign. Oh, okay, so there's only, oh, okay, 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 okay. So those, so, okay, that makes sense. So that's, that. okay, the white, the white sleeve, I was like, white ones, I was like, there's only, there's only one white one. <laughs> I was so worried for a second. But anyways, anyways, so let's go ahead and get this, oh, I got marker on me, oh well. Let's get this signed. And yeah, I'll have to, I'll just have to like, you know, um, send you something, but I'll, to, I'll type up something. You, you're not gonna be able to read my writing. So I'll type something back and uh, send it to you, um, you know, with with this card that I just signed. And then, uh, Christron, uh, Prayors, uh, whatever that, whatever that is, and a Camel Lump. Hey, that, that's actually a pretty decent card, I would say. I actually, uh, uh, have a deck profile on the Bro Pyre channel of this guy that, like, got, like, top 12 or something in a regional playing this card in a Perform Pow deck, like, back in the day, and it was pretty cool. But yeah, thank you, thank you so much for the gifts, man. And thank you, uh, thank you so much, like, really a lot for, for the Book of Stamps. This, like, I mean, I, I use these, you know, to make sure everything gets back to people okay. I really, really appreciate Appreciate it. And I just noticed this says you you know no the penis looking kaiju when normal summon add one Raigeki to your to your hand. Oh my gosh, search is Raigeki, that's retarded. Alright, let's see what we have here. So next one up, and I still have marker on my finger. Great. Hey, we have a return envelope. Awesome. And then let's see what else we have. Probably some cards. Sign all. Yep, will do. And then what else do we have? Hey, a letter, if I can get it out of here. Yep, there we go. And let's go ahead and read this. So, Yugi Nono, -No, the Cyber Dragon King. You are my favorite Yugi tuber and my favorite player in Team Bropire. I sent you a Cyber Dragon, and when you were in the and then in the next Tulsa Regionals that you were going to be at, what's the next? Oh, what is the? Where is the next Tulsa Regionals I'm going to be at? Um, well, the, where it's you know Tulsa, <laughs> Tulsa, Oklahoma, of course. But um, when I don't know when the next one is or if they're done for the year. Um, they might be done for the year. I didn't go to the last one because uh, none, of, none of my friends were going and I didn't feel like, I mean, I felt like maybe stopping by, but I ended up getting, uh, you know, busy, like doing other stuff. I felt like, st like stopping by and saying hi to everybody, but I ended up getting, getting busy doing other stuff. 
But um, I don't know. Whatever the next one is on the regional locator on the uh, on the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh side, that's probably the next one I'm going to be at. Probably have some friends coming up from Texas. I always have some friends that come up from Texas and stay and stuff. But anyways, sign all will do. So probably, yeah, place it a Cyber Dragon. So I saw that coming. Oh, no, no, no. Only one Cyber Dragon, one Rescue Rab. I thought it was going to be a place that. Okay. <laughs> And then Jim Knight Pearl. Hey, that's pretty cool. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, Rescue Rabbit, Jim Knight Pearl. I used to play Jim Knight Pearl back in the day, actually, because, uh, you know, you couldn't be feed as chained because it has no effect. And that was that was pretty uh, pretty cheeky, and it was 2,600 attacks, so it was not bad at all. But uh, thank you for your fan mail, man. I'll get these back to you. All right, so this one has, like, tracking on it. So this one might have some pretty important stuff in here. So, oh, a drawing? What is this? And then some, oh, some cards? What, what is going on here? Wow, a lot of cards. <laughs> Another Larry Moth, gotcha. Is that all of it? All right, so then uh, this is, what, what, Coupon International? I, I don't I don't know what this is like in French. I don't what what in the, the back in the back of it's in different languages. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. And then what is this? Oh, and a, a return envelope. Okay, so a return envelope uh, to Australia. I don't I don't think that it'll ship to Australia with all these cards. If I have to sign them, I don't think it'll ship. Uh, anyways, though, let's go ahead and read this. And that's that's what this is like for tracking. But I don't know. I I can't read whatever that is. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, uh, dear Master No No, I love your channel and please sign my cards. Please make a virus deck. Make it, make it, please, please. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, P.S. Keep the picture from Cyrus. I have, I have given you a form to get the stamps for the return letter. Just hand over for the postage at the post office. Any issues, please email my dad. Okay, so I should be able to hand this to the post office and get it taken care of. Okay, that's so that's what that is. Uh, hopefully they can read French or whatever that is, because I know I know I sure as <laughs> sure as hell can't read it. Anyway, so we have hey, that is badass! Oh my god, that is fucking cool. Oh wow, he drew me Seto Kaiba, you guys. And that is really, really good. I didn't, I didn't, I'm gonna show that to my girlfriend. She she like I, I show her, you know, the stuff you guys draw me. Uh, you know, because she she draws all the time, she, so she gets a kick out of uh, out of a lot of it. But this is this is really good. Wow, like the the detail and like in the cards and everything is really good. Man, thank you so much. That is so cool. So I think he wanted me to sign all the cards and send them back. Did he say that? I assume that he does because he sent me. Please sign my cards. Yeah, you did say that. Okay. So yeah, I'm just I'm, I got all mixed up. I'm all mixed up right now because getting something in another language, I'm just like what? <laughs> but let's go ahead and get these signed. All right, so these are all signed. So hopefully this works out. And I can get them back to you. All right. So last up, we have two packages. I wanted to. I usually you know save the uh, save the packages for last because I never know what's gonna be in these. And I you know I think that they're probably gonna be the best things. So I usually save the best for last. Okay. So we have. Uh, I think that's gonna show someone's address. Hold on. I forgot the return envelope. Can you return them? Please, only one lucky, uh, one signed card. So whatever that, whatever that is. Um, it's your lucky day because someone sent me a book of stamps. <laughs> so yeah, I can send anybody's stuff back today because <laughs> someone sent me stamps. But hey, uh, it looks like they sent me a couple bucks too. So that works out. So yeah, like uh, once again, guys, I use these stamps and stuff that you guys send me. If you guys do want to send me stamps, it's really cool because you know I use it to, you know, for like the thicker envelopes, I'll like double and triple stamp the envelopes, especially when they go overseas and stuff. I'll like put like three or four stamps on there, at least two, at least you know, at least two, anyways, uh, to make sure that they get back to, uh, you know, the cards get back to their owners. We have a dollar in there that definitely covers the stamp because stamps are what 49 or 50 cents, whatever they are. And then we have some cards. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and read this. Dear Yugi No Boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. My name is Paris and I am from Greece. Wow. And I started watching you since you did the video with the worst mirror matches and it is awesome. I also, I send some cards in the sleeves. I would like if you sign them and the other cards I would like for you to keep. Oh, thank you. Sorry if my English is rusty, but I am trying. No, you're doing great. The first time I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh was like one year ago. And I am 15. My favorite card is the Mild Turkey and Cockadoodle Doo. They are so so funny and stupid. Yeah, and Cockadoodle Doo was good in Klee back in the day. When I made my first, uh, of all of, of all my friends were laughing because of the deck was full of traps. When I signed up for the local tournament, I've I've won with the trap monster deck. Oh, that's good. 
So that's all of the time, and I want you like I want like to send you again. Yeah, you can send me, send me stuff again. Peace. P.S. Look at all those cards. There are bend the bend as fuck. Well, some of them. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see. Thank you for the for the envelope. You actually did really well, and your writing is better than English speakers <laughs> that, that I get, honestly. And then he sent me an American dollar. That's really cool. But uh, anyways, then we have, um, let's see what we have. Uh, angry Cat. <laughs> the Angry Cat uh, sleeves. That's really cool. Petit Moth. Okay, so he wants me to sign all these. All right, so let's go ahead and get these signed and see, <laughs> see what he sent me after. Hey, hey, look, another Gym Night Pearl. This one's a secret. That's cool. I think I have that same one. All right, so we got all those signs. Let's see what he sent me. So he sent me a dandelion, which is really cool. <laughs> I like dandelion. Some ghost beefs. Yeah, mild turkey. <laughs> Expected that. Hey, bubble boons. I was wanting to pull those the other day. That's really cool. Sweet. Thank you so much. I needed some Boba Boons. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And I saved your address on your um, on your package that you sent. I'll be sure to like triple stamp this and make sure that all these get back to you. All right, guys. And the last thing, we have a whole package here. I feel like this is going to be like a mat or something, but I'm not sure. What is this? Okay, I cannot show you that stuff. Um, I know who this is from. That's, that's something for another video. I, I can't wait to open these. But yeah, guys, thank you for sending me all this stuff. Let's go ahead and do a larvae moth counter, though real quick oh my gosh that's not even this is keep in mind this is not even counting the larvae moths that i've gotten in the past it's not even counting those larvae moths oh my gosh and i'm gonna go ahead and count the fake the fake uh you know great moth because i'm, I'm just gonna count it because it, it, it counts i don't care it counts and then let's see and this is also not counting the larvae moths people have you know sent me today and have sent me in the past to sign and send back to them so this is stuff that people have given me just today oh my gosh so so much larvae moth jesus and then, then there's the harpy girl oh my gosh that is just insane thank you guys for all of your fan mail i really appreciate it this is like my favorite segment on this channel that's to me it's even funner than doing like you know the skits and everything i know the skits are really really funny and they are also really fun to do but this is just my way of giving back to the community and uh, also you know i'd like seeing what you guys draw draw me and what you guys send me it's just really fun to read but as always guys be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe